So, you sounded desperate on the phone. Are you still using? Have you been taking your meds? I'm trying to wean off. Blackouts? Worse than ever. And when did they begin again? McCracken. McCracken? Who is McCracken? He's a new employee at Truck Stop. That's when it all began. One job. One job was all it took. It was a delivery to Canberra. And on his return, I get a call saying that we might have a problem. Jesus fucking Christ, McCracken. It's your first day on the job. I got your voicemails. What's up? Oh, it wasn't me fault. What happened? Did you ding me truck? No. What's the problem then? I still made the delivery. Get on with it. You know what the traffic is like on the highway on the Friday, right? Yeah. I mean, shit. I'm under like a lot of pressure with this new job, eh? All those packages that gotta be there overnight. You know, to the Australian Security Intelligence Organisation of all places. You know, I'm responsible for a lot of stuff. Yeah, get to the point, McCracken. I'm driving along. In me truck. And a fucking little tosser comes right up alongside me. One of those sports cars, you know, the ones with, uh, with no roof. Convertible. Yeah, fucking oath. Little convert me, Bill. Trying to nose me out of the way. I mean... This guy's generally just giving me the shits, but what I'm really concerned with are the packages that I'm responsible for. Get to the point, McCracken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I have, like, a responsibility, like an obligation to protect all that stuff? You know, we're talking government shit. It's ASIO. Could be passed for bombs in those boxes back there. It wasn't passed for bombs, you idiot. Yeah, but I don't know that, do I? So, you know, it got me thinking. What's more important? You know, some rich guy? Trying to get to his beach house for the weekend? Or maybe, quite possibly, those very important boxes in the back of me truck. So what happened? So I shot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you nearly had me, McCracken. You nearly had me. What? You are fucking with me, right? Ah. You shot someone? Yeah. Well, where's the body then? I was in the back of the truck. Your truck. Hey, but don't worry, boss. It's all good. McCracken. Still delivered. Oh well, I guess if you still delivered, there's nothing to worry about then, is there? No. We still got a dead body to deal with, don't we? No more fucking around, McCracken. I'm calling the cops. So anytime you want to start telling me the truth. Fucking Christ, McCracken. Yeah. What kind of heavy artillery did you hit him with? A oh, shotgun. A shotgun? A fucking A. Back of the head. You know, shit. He's got no head. Oh, my God. I have to call the coppers. Hey, no. I'm calling the cops. Hey, boss. I'm going to call boss. the cops. Boss. Calm down. Think about this. Do you really want your company brand splattered across the front pages? His brain's already splattered across my company brand. I like what you did there. But I think you're overreacting a little. Really? Mm hmm Because considering I've only known you for one day and you're already the worst thing that's ever happened to me, I think I'm handling this pretty fucking good. Uh, 
You ready to do this shit or what? Are you ready to not be a part of my life? Let me think about that. No. I'm serious, McCracken. We do this, and I don't want nothing to do with you. I never want to see you, hear from you, or smell your filthy farts ever again. Jesus. It's a bit harsh. All right. Deal. <laughs> Righty ho. I'll grab the legs, you get the head. I mean, that end. Get fucked, McCrack. You're taking that end. I'll eat your nest, boss. Bend the knees. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, looks like a meat pie of sauce. <laughs> Tell me who he killed, Cameron. I don't know. The head was blown clean off. Client confidentiality only goes so far before I am compelled to report matters. The cops already know. That's why I'm here. I helped bury that fucking body. I'm an accomplice! Calm down. Calm down, Cam. And I want you to tell me the rest of the story. How can you be so calm? I'm a duck. What? On the surface it looks like I'm cruising, but beneath the legs are working in overdrive. You think we buried him deep enough? A few feet sweet. Bugs and worms will get to him soon enough he'll decompose and perish. Perish? Yeah. McCracken, I want to ask you something and I want you to be honest with me. Shoot. You aren't by any chance a serial killer. Well, in the morning. Sometimes I like to murder some Cocoa Pops. That's not funny. That's kind of funny. I'm serious, McCracken. Actually, you know what? I don't care. I don't want to know anything about you. I just want you gone. Sometimes you can be quite repellent. I'm repellent because I've got a human pest attached to me. Oh, that's what you think of me. <laughs> a pest? Yeah, actually, you're worse than herpes. What time do I start in tomorrow? You're not starting any time, mate. RDO. No, McCracken, you are finished. Gone. Fired. Kaput! You remember our deal? Yeah, we shook on it. Oh, no, don't even try and brain rape me, McCracken. Just look at me, boss. I can protect myself from you. This is not real. You're not real. You don't exist. I am real. I do exist. You're not here. Is this real. isn't happening. Yes, I am. No! God, oh, damn it! It's all right. My fingers were crossed. What? When we shook on it, the deal, my fingers were crossed. What, are you four years old? That doesn't count! That's exactly right. The deal doesn't count. Oh my god, what the fuck do you want from me, McCracken? I think you know what I want. I know what was delivered in them boxes. McCracken wants in. I want control of truck stop. So that's what this is all about, huh? My business. What crazy ass planet are you from, McCracken? You better get off my premises now, or I will call the cops. I'll explain it all. The corpse, the hypnotizing, everything. And I don't even care about the consequences for me, just so long as I get to watch them take you away. So the body is buried on the truck stop premises? Was. Was buried. The next day I had, what do you call it, a crisis of conscience. Hi. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to report a murder. Go, 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 Get the guy behind the barrel. I got him, I got him. Bargo, bargo. Wait for me. Come on, go, go, go. Get the motherfucker in front of the beam. I'll get you back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let it go, let it go. Leave it, leave it. I've got to get this. Leave it. Hello, Detective Peppy. Fuck. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. What is it? Some arseholes reported a murder in our district. God damn it, motherfucker! Whoa, 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 calm down. Just sit down. Fuck! Have a drink. Now let's just process this. We are on level 16. Don't let anything come between us. Got it? Got it. Let's go. 
You're telling me that some nut job called McCrack, McCracken, whatever, shot and killed another driver on the side of the highway just for cutting him off. That's some serious road rage, brother. He's got some serious issues. And so then you helped bury the body out the back here. I didn't want to upset him. Uh, you said it yourself. This guy is a nut job. Yeah. I don't believe it. He must have returned in the middle of the night and dug it up. You know, we've got a lot of real police work to do, bro. I swear, we buried that body right here. <laughs> he said he wants to take control of me business. What? This shithole? And you want something, mate? Because if you are, we want something. <laughs> We're just kidding, mate. Relax. <laughs> no. But seriously, do you have any drugs? Because if you do, we're going to have to consume them and confiscate them. We'll just call it an amnesty. We'll look the other way. I don't have any drugs. There's nothing for us here. Perhaps you should get some sleep. You look tired. Thanks for wasting our time, asshole. He was here. I swear. This maniac, he's trying to control me. That was a close call. A relief once I saw that hole was empty. It's like a euphoric high. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Moist panties, strip club. <laughs> Great minds think alike, Detective Chase. Yes, they do, Detective Peppy. Yes, they do. And that right there is exactly why you're my partner. <laughs> The body was gone, but it was just a matter of time before the car showed up. Thank you very much. If you have any more information, just uh, give me a call. Detective Peppy, it's my mobile number. Any other questions, it's my number there. Yeah, Detective Chase. Or Detective Peppy. Thank you. So this prick may not be lying after all. We've got a motherfucking case on our hands. You know, if we actually do some work, and solve this, things could be looking up for us. <laughs> Retirement. I was thinking more of a transfer to say... With Sunday Islands. Nice. Tropical cops, I dig it. in you get. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Christ! Bad dreams. How did you get in here? I was never out. Hey, I'm a bit of a dreamer as well. But more of a daydreamer. Yeah, sometimes I just drift off to Cuda. Retired with a couple of Indo wives. Love the Indos. Have you been talking to the coppers? No. You're lying. I know you're lying. Know you inside and out, my friend. You don't know shit, McCracken. Just remember that this is between you and me. There's no need for any outsiders. Outsiders? Just what do you think we got going on here, McCracken? I mean, you were a team. If we're a team, why did you move the body on me? The stiff is stashed somewhere safe. On my property? Yeah. Part of him is anyways. Talking to the coppers ain't gonna do shit. They're not gonna find McCracken. McCracken's too elusive. This is all gonna fall on you unless you collaborate. Collaborate? You're up to your head in shit and you're gonna go under unless McCracken throws you a line. I'm only trying to reach out to you here. You need me. More than you realise. Thank God. He was just here. Who? Him. McCracken. What, just now? Just then. He was watching me sleep. 
He's got a gun. We're gonna have to come in and ask some questions, man. No beer. This is bullshit. You're always asleep at two in the other. I deliver interstate, sometimes overnight. You look like shit. All that driving and late nights must catch up with you. You get used to it. So a convertible BMW turned up on the side of the highway, abandoned and bloodied. Belongs to a Ricky Ray Jones, you know him? No. Well, he's missing. Forensics are running DNA samples on the Beamer as we speak. We aren't going to find the same DNA samples on your site, are we? Well, it's possible. He was on the highway when he shot him. McCracken? Yeah. It's Cameron, isn't it? People call me Cam. Cam. So where do I find this McCracken? He was just here. Where? Because I can't see him! I don't know where to find him. I really don't know much about the guy, except he's a psycho! So let me get this straight. You helped carry the body from the truck to the burial site. So there should be blood in the truck, right? I clean it out with a high-pressure hose. Why? To conceal the evidence. You realise you're confessing as an accessory to murder? I did it to protect myself. I told you that. So what does this McCracken look like? He's white, mid-30s, kind of creepy looking. He wears a flannel head and a hat that says, I love truck stops. Truck stop? It's the name of your business, isn't it? It's a coincidence. Listen, we're going to send forensic team over to truck stop. You better have that truck ready and open a go. You got it! Fine. I don't like you. I think you're making this McCracken bloke up to save your own ass. See, I'm going to do so much background work that when I'm through with you, I'm going to know every site, star and category of internet porn you jerk off to on a Tuesday morning! I'm not making him up. Save it. This guy is trying to control me. He is setting me Save up. Save it. We're coming back here with the warrant. And I want some fucking beer in this bridge. Is there anything that you'd like to confess? I'm reaching out to you, hear this? This is doing my fucking head in and now you're questioning my integrity. Did they find anything at truck stop? Whatever evidence there was, McCracken has taken care of it. Time's up. Is there anything that you'd like to quickly add? My anxiety's going through the roof. I need something, anything. Xanax. I don't think you should be taking drugs. To tell you the truth, Cam, I'm really worried about you. Please, Dr. Fox. I'm having panic attacks. Just one in the morning. Thank you. Detective Peppy, please. Jesus! Would you please stop doing that? Therapy. Really? The game's up, all right? The cops are looking for you right now. I told them everything. So if you're going to kill me, just hurry up and do it now. Well, that wouldn't do either of us any good now, would it? Cameron, I think you know what I want. And I think you want what McCracken has to offer. Well, you're going to have to enlighten me as to what I could possibly want from you. This is a risky business you're in. But with any great risk comes great reward. Extremely lucrative. You need a man who can deliver by whatever means necessary. Remove any roadblocks, so to speak. Now, I can already tell you don't like getting your hands dirty. Well... Dirty just so happens to be part of McCracken's nature. It's what I do best. Them boxes you deliver? Child's play. Sky's the limit, Cam Crank. Just depends how high you want to fly.
He came to me about a year ago. After he was court ordered. I see you've done your homework. He was in trouble for a road rage incident. He submitted to a blood test and was found to have a significant amount of... Ice! Crystal meth in his system, yes. I've done my homework too. Good boy. So he revealed to me that he used crystal meth in order to hit deadlines, to make more deliveries, more money. He became obsessed with building his business. Truck stop. All on his own. As a result, he never slept. Lack of sleep combined with crystal meth induced psychosis caused him to become delusional. He started having hallucinations. And after some intensive assessment, I began to suspect that his brain had temporarily split into two separate entities. Different identities. Have you heard of split personality? He is McCracken! You didn't know that! I called it! You said that he's making him up, not that he is McCracken. It's the same fucking it's thing! It's not the same fucking it's thing! Boys, I said it's possible. I can't prove if McCracken exists. He may very well. I don't know. You see, one personality wouldn't know that the other exists, so Cameron's case would be highly unusual. So how do you treat him? Some extremely powerful medications, which I'm not sure if he's still taking. Look, we're going to have to get your personal mobile number just in case anything comes up. Look, I'm fairly sure that McCracken is gone and he's not coming back. How can you be so sure? Because it's all in his head. What? We spoke to Dr. Fox. Dr. Fox? Why would you do that? We got a theory that McCracken is a figment of your imagination. What do you mean? One side of your split personality, you freak. Okay, sure. Look, I've, I've struggled with addiction before, but, but I'm clean now. You're still taking your meds, sick boy? Just what exactly did Dr. Fox disclose to you two? Whatever happened to client confidentiality? You see, when a patient is deemed at risk to society and themselves, client confidentiality goes out the window, my friend. And we believe you committed the roadkill. That's insane. What? I, I can't believe this. What? Fucking McCracken. Listen here, Cameron Crank. We both got a bet riding on which of us is going to take Dr. Fox out on a date first. And crack in this case will greatly improve our chances. We need to crack it. First case we ever cracked. This is our retirement. And our chance at a hot date. We're going to be tropical cops, so don't fuck with us. Just tell us, did you carry out that roadkill? I'm telling you. It was all McCracken! Then where the fuck is this fucking McCracken? <laughs> ah!